Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. Before I jump into my saved game here, picking up where I left off, charging into battle with some other dude, into a heavily fortified location while I'm sleep deprived and my vision is all blurry, before that, let me mention something that I did. So you may have noticed that for pretty much this entire playthrough, the weather has been exactly the same, the sort of dreary overcast thing. And this is apparently a known issue with the version of the game that I'm running, which is 1.30002 or something like that. It's the second patch. A third patch has been released, which fixes the weather, but uh, you have to restart the game to use the new patch, which I am not willing to do. But I was looking online, and as it turns out, there is actually a fix for the weather. And I actually did it. You just have to set the renderer to static lighting, and then kind of go back in game with it set to static lighting, save your game, and then set it back to the, you know, the best DirectX 10 version of the renderer, and then reload your game, and then it fixes the weather. So I've actually done that. So when I jump in game, the weather is actually going to be set to whatever it was when I had static lighting, and then like half a second after I jump in, the weather is just going to change to some random thing. It just seems to pick it at random. So it's going to be a grab bag of, is it going to be foggy and absolutely horrible, or is it going to be a beautiful, beautiful morning? I don't know. Either way, it's going to be something a damn sight more interesting than dreary overcast. So I'm very happy that that's been fixed. So let's jump in and let's run into battle. I think I'm supposed to take out these snipers or something. I'll do my best. Let's go. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, game. Thank you. It actually got darker and now it's raining. This is the random weather that you chose. How, how beautiful. Alright, following the green dot on my map. Where are you? No one's shooting yet, amazingly. There we go. Set this to a uh, single shot. There we go. Alright, single shot. Seriously, I loaded it. I loaded this a couple times to see what the weather would look like. And, like, every single time I've loaded it, it's looked a hell of a lot better than this. This is, like, the worst. Shit, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, slow, slow down, slow down, I can't cover you. Hurry, when you're that far ahead of me. Hurry, need to make it before the blowout. Okay, 50 seconds. That is not much time. Battery, battery, battery. Oh, grenade! Shit! Okay, let's go. Let's go! What? You're going the wrong way. C come, come with me. I'm not sure if he's following me or if I'm following him. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass out from exhaustion, apparently. Dude, what do you- get the fuck in here! Alright, whatever. I'm gonna be safe. Am I gonna fail the mission? What's gonna happen? He's just running around outside like an idiot. He's so gonna die. He is so gonna die. Wait, did I just fall asleep? I hear snoring. <laughs> I fell asleep from exhaustion during the blowout. Oh my god, please wake up. Please, please wake up. <laughs> I hope I didn't just break the game by doing that. Because I fell asleep during a cutscene. Come, 
closer. You must listen to me. Okay. You must finish off the dog. He fell off the bridge. When mutants attacked, I ain't gonna make it. Finish the dog. Is there any way for me to save him? Or is that just scripted to happen? Is he scripted to be an idiot and not come inside? Oh crap. I am literally dying of thirst. Uh, I kind of want to reload just to see if I can save... Maybe, like, maybe if I kill all the enemies around, he'll actually come inside. And I kind of want to see what happened in the cutscene because I fell asleep. But then again, if I reload, I'm just going to fall asleep again. Okay, I, I think it might just be scripted to happen. Maybe. Alright, well, I'm supposed to kill Mad Dog and retrieve the artifact, and it's right there. I really wanted to save you, but... I, I mean, I tried my best, but you were just too stupid. Don't need any of these weapons. I do want to try the Vintar. Oh, and what is this I see out here? Is this a weather other than dreary overcast? Let's go take a look. This is the first time I've seen weather like this since the very beginning of the game. Look at this. There's actual sunlight lighting the scene. Before it's always been like ambient. But now there's actual... I'm finally actually getting something out of my... My, uh, my sun shadows that I have enabled here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I never thought different weather would be so beautiful. But anything than what I've been experiencing for like 15 hours of this game so far is just wonderful. Just anything different. Ah. I'm sorry you weren't here to see it, my friend. Alright, let's try out the Vintar. Oh, look at that. The... Oh, I thought that was sunlight, actually. Was that sunlight? No, that wasn't sunlight. But the dynamic lighting on the weapons. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, Vintar. Your ammo is here. Is this sniper shots? Let's put some more AP up there. This gun is actually quite small. Hi, fleshies. Oh, give me a big hug. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, that's why they're running away. This may be a slight issue. I think maybe I should get out of the way. Also, now that there's actual sunlight, I do want to know whether, if I turn this setting down now, if it'll look better. Let's, let's try, I think the fault was 6.5. Nah, it still looks way too dark. Try one. Yeah, one looks pretty good. I think 1.2 is a little little bit too high for when there's actual sunlight. Holy shit. This place is very active. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them deal with all that stuff. And I'm gonna hang back for a little bit. And just kinda... Get away from all that. Okay. Um, oh, ah, Jesus! I did not even hear them walking up to me. Right, uh, single shot. Yep, single shot. Looks like it only holds 10 per magazine. And definitely a sniper rifle. If this was an assault rifle, that would be very, very poor. Get away from my fleshy. Get away. Okay, I need to deal with these. Let's go back to standard rounds.
Get him, Fleshy, get him. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, poor Fleshy. They're, they're so easily scared. Okay, I think I'm good. Yeah, okay. Let's go get Mad Dog. It really is so refreshing to have different weather. Ah. Man, I wish I had my vehicle here. There'd be so many weapons to take. Is there a way to get my vehicle here? To Wait, there is... You can't actually go from the bar to here? Oh, wait a minute. I totally can. I totally can. Yeah, you just go straight up here and you go to the army warehouses. My car is right here. And unless there's something covering the road, but I, I could probably get around it. What am I hearing? Something skittering about. Ah, there's more of them. I suppose it's ironic that while hunting for Mad Dog, there are a bunch of Mad Dogs. Oh shit, is that him? Oh yeah, it's him. He's, he's pointing a gun at me. Okay. Let's test out my sniper rifle. Get some height here. You can't aim for shit. On the other hand, I can. Hope the dogs don't get him first. Come on out, you coward. Wow, what the hell? I think I shot him in the head like two times. That man has a thick skull. Oh crap. Oh crap. They're coming. Alright, I need to get the loot. I need to get out. No, don't open that. Change ammo type. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme your loot. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Attack me through the gate. There it is. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, those helicopters aren't going to shoot. They're just dropping troops. Let's get out of here. He's trying to take us down! I'm trying to take you down? No, I'm not. I'm trying to run away. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, shit. Are there mines out here? Fuck. I can't go this way. Oh, come on, please tell me I can make it. Ah, damn it. Run away! Very quickly. Suppose I have time to loot. Get some additional ammunition. And some money. Sweet. Okay, hold on for a second. What am I actually supposed to be doing? Bring the crystal back to ghosts. Uh, that is not how you spell crystal, but close enough. Phonetically, I suppose it's the same. Okay, I'll take it straight back, and then I do want to get my vehicle afterwards, actually. I want to just kill everyone in this base and just take all of their loot and just ferry it back and forth. I really want to do that.
take a look at this artifact. This wonderful artifact is formed by the anomaly Trampoline. The use of the artifact demands the neutralization of deadly radiation. Expensive and rare, this artifact is extremely interesting for scientific expeditions and other research activity in the zone. Yeah, and by the way, this uh, car that this dude drove here, I don't think I can actually get in it. Especially not since it seems to have sunken halfway into the ground. Man. I know things deteriorate fast in the zone, but I didn't think this thing would, like, melt into the ground after just ten minutes. Actually, no, I guess I slept. I guess it's been more like eight hours, but still. Where the hell am I? I lost myself. Where? Oh, there we go. Eh, I'll just head straight there. There's no reason to stay on the road. Some horrible bleeding, but it all did almost no damage, though. All right, fix my PDA, please. I've killed Mad Dog and got the crystal. Contact's dead, though. Blowout got the best of him. Then there's no time to lose. Bring that thing to Yantar. I'm in no condition to come with you, with these meds acting up. Godspeed. All right, on my way. Oh yeah, the pile of ammunition I dropped. Okay, well, I don't really care for this weapon. So, I think I'm gonna sell it. Well, I could keep it. Am I ever really gonna use it? Probably not. Probably not, but... Uh, I'll keep it. I don't desperately need the money for anything. So, I'm supposed to go back to Yantar, but... Instead, I am going to go get my vehicle. Yeah, let's go do that. Entrance is right there. I mean, if nothing else, I really need my sleeping bag. I am... Well, I'm either going to take my car everywhere with me, or I'm just going to take my sleeping bag with me, because I didn't realize how important that was. I never really tested what happened when you got too tired. Now I know. Ooh, is that an artifact? Hello? What is that? Meat chunk. Outrun the dogs. Can't catch me. You can try your best, you little shits. I wonder if I can get them killed. Hold on. Mmm, didn't really work. There she is! My Jeepy. I should give her a name. I know! 
I know exactly what I'm going to call her. I am going to call her... Polygonal Catastrophe. Perfect. Okay, so, yeah, I'm actually just going to store this weapon. I will keep that. And the ammunition for it. The sniper rounds, specifically. And I'm going to store all of these artifacts for later recombobulation into some sort of a new artifact, if I ever manage to, to do that. Wait a minute, flash. Why am I not wearing the flash? That should have been on me. It gives me more endurance. If only I could find some more blue beads, because those are amazing. Where the hell did I get these rounds from? Stuff those in there. Okay, so yeah, now I'm... Very lean, good on weight. Here we go. Plenty of ammo in my hotbar. Okay, we are good to go. Let's go drive this thing back to the military place and let's get looting, shall we? Come on, polygonal catastrophe. That is not a very easy name to say. I guess I could just say PC, Polygonal Catastrophe. Ow. Hmm, I'll see if I can think of something that rolls off the tongue easier. I like the name, but it's not very user-friendly. Let's avoid the anomalies. I don't want to go flying up into the air again. That was unpleasant. Interesting, but unpleasant. Okay, I think this is the building right here, right? Yeah, pretty much. Let's go in through the front gate. Poor fleshes. Everybody picks on the fleshes. Oh god. I shouldn't have hit that. Could have sent me flying in the air. Hi. Bye. Stop. I don't think so. Okay, let's not drive over that crack there. Let's get her turned around. All right, time to get to work. Please stop shooting my vehicle. If you blew it up, I would be very cross. Let's get a bit closer. Okay, they dropped off like a helicopter load, so I know there's more people. Yeah. 
Here we go. Now this is a party. Let's not go indoors. That is not where my weapon excels. Okay, is that it? See if my binoculars can find anything. Okay. Got some dogs moving in. I think that might be it. Someone dead up in the tower as well. Although I don't remember shooting them. Let's go standard rounds, because I think I might be facing some pseudo-dogs in a minute here. And let's start looting. Do I care about the ammo? It's, not, it's really not worth much. I don't think I'm going to bother with the ammo. I'll stick with the weapons. As a pathetic weapon, a PMM, that's what it freaking started with. Ooh, energy drink. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice pistol. Take that one. PMM, no thanks. How am I doing on weight? Almost full. I should go ferry these back to the truck. I hear you over there. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> They're walking in place. Hold on, do I have a grenade? Oh man, I don't have a grenade. I would love to throw a grenade right in there. I could run over them with the car if I could get it over this, but I really don't want to drive it over that. Little bit too dangerous. Okay, good on weight. What are you doing, Flesh? You don't run towards the enemies that are trying to attack you. Alright. Let's knock them out of their... trance. <laughs> Sorry friend, but I'm gonna take your weapons. There could even be a weapon store inside of here. What are you doing? What What are you doing? You realize I'm your friend, right? Friends do not claw at other friends' faces. You silly thing. But, uh, yeah, this is like a kind of military place. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a weapon store. What? Okay, you're really annoying me now. Okay, there's one up in the tower. Oh, actually. Oh, never mind. At the base of the tower. 
And there's a grenade. If only I had you a minute ago. Oh, whoa. There's a person over there. Okay, I'm sorry, you have to go. I'm overweight. Just barely. That's why I'm so slow. Let's eat food. There we go. Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Hello? marked on my map as being here, but I don't actually see him. He knows I'm here. Like, he will shoot me. He's gonna pop around a corner and pop me in the head. Huh. Alright, stump these back in the truck. Oh, here we go. You are looking the wrong way, my friend. He actually heard me. I remember when I attacked those guys at night with a knife. Like, I could sprint around and they didn't even seem to notice me, but he actually did. And one more run. I'll cover the enemies towards the left of the base. There's one inside of this building here. And of course, there's you. Aboken. Yeah, see if there's any supplies in here. Any racks of gun- Ow! <laughs> just burned myself. Any racks of guns or anything like that. Can't open it. Hmm. I'm thinking if the guns were anywhere, they'd probably be in that main building where we took shelter. Hold on. Can I, like, shoot this open? Hmm. Let's grab this dude's stuff, and then let's check the main building, and then let's get out of here. They better not be on the ground. Okay, good. All right! The sniper people in the sniper nests have snipers! New stash. Ooh, where? Oh, it's actually inside of here. Cool. Commander keeps his stuff right under his desk. Nobody has claimed it yet. And I believe that's the main building that I was going to search anyway, so that is perfect. Yep. I want to take a look at that sniper rifle, actually. SVDM-2. That thing's stats, as far as accuracy and damage go, are amazing. I'm gonna look through that scope. Hold on, I wanna fire this thing. I wanna see what it feels like. Wait, does this do what I think it does? Oh yeah, when you have the sniper rifle out, 
It actually lowers your sensitivity. So I guess it's simulating like a bulky weapon. Oh boy, look at that. That is some zoom. Let's give this thing a shot, literally. That sounds sexy. Any faraway mutants I can shoot? Not that I see. How much is it worth? Because maybe I should go get the other one. Ooh, it's worth like 10,000. Yeah, I, uh, I should probably get the other one. I'm going to get the other one. I need to dump everything I have right now, though. And I am already overweight. Let's take the short way down. It's the painful way, but it's the short way. Gonna burn through my drink so fast. Well, it's gonna be a little bit tedious uh, getting there. And I'm gonna have to run up to that sniper tower, so I'm actually gonna cut this out. I'm gonna go dump these weapons, pick up the sniper rifle, and then I'll be back when I go to search the main building. Alright, let's put a hold on searching the main building for a second. I found a couple pretty cool things. So for some reason, these sniper dudes seem to actually have two separate sniper rifles on them. I don't know why. Uh, but I didn't realize that they're actually different types. So I used this one, the SVDM-2. Which is quite bulky, but there's also these. The SVU Mark II. Which, as it says, a more up-to-date version of the sniper rifle. A compact bullpup model. And looking at the stats. Let's uh, take one in here so I can compare them quickly. So the more up-to-date version has... Better accuracy, a little bit less damage, but better handling and better rate of fire. And it also weighs a bit less, too. So I'm guessing it's just pretty much a better weapon altogether, but let's give it a shot. I want to see what it feels like, see what it looks like, see how it is to shoot. Whew. Got some kick. Who's messaging me? Sama Sachuk Sawa. However, however you pronounce that name. I'm selling my nice leather jacket. Anyone interested? What is this, Craigslist? Go away. Yeah, there's so much kick, I can't even see if it's hitting. But, judging... Let's see. Does that affect my sensitivity? I think it does affect my sensitivity a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it just seems to be, for the most part, just a better version of this sniper rifle. And the only reason I was going to keep the Vintar is just because I was thinking if I needed really, really long range, uh, a really long range weapon, that the Vintar would be the way to go. But now that I actually have like a real sniper rifle, like they just seem better. I mean, look at this. Compared to the Vintar, better accuracy, way better damage. Uh, the rate of fire and handling is obviously much worse, but if I'm attacking from a very long range, I don't really care about rate of fire. Although the handling does make a big difference. Because the kickback on this one is pretty insane. But yeah, I think I'll just get rid of the Vintar and probably just keep one of these. And here's the other cool thing I found, by the way. On one of the snipers, they actually had a very interesting artifact. Cake. There's actually an artifact called Cake. As this artifact protects you from bullets, your meta metabolism has certain resources drained, which causes food cravings. It has a fitting name. Indeed it does. It's worth a hell of a lot. It only increases my hunger by 1%, and hunger is already a complete irrelevance. And it gives me plus 10% bulletproof cap, so let's go with that. Let's, let's equip my Cake. Thing is hilarious and kind of awesome, too. Okay, now it's time to search the building. Let's put my weapon back on. Oh wait, my ammo too. Let's go with armor piercing. Also, I think Mad Dog is the leader of these people. And I noticed 
that in my messages, there's Mad Dog PC password Mad Dog. So I'm thinking maybe I can find his computer in here and log into it. All right, looking for weapon stores. Really, just any kind of supplies would be fine. Okay, I don't know if I want a 20-gallon drum of olives, but uh, let's just eat those. Oh god. It's clipping through the wall. Please don't explode. There's probably nobody in here. I think they'd be marked on my map if there were. Oh, here we go. Here's the stash. Whoa. A vodka that I can't even pronounce. Kamafob. It's probably not pronounced Kamafob. Imported vodka from Vinland was a championship winner of best taste of the year. Sweet. Hand radio. I think I've already got one of those. That was a lacking stash. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to you? And if this is Mad Dog's office, which is what it seems like is the case, why is there a decaying corpse inside of it? you think you'd want that cleaned up. Oh, maybe this is his office, actually. Four, there is a PC. Let's uh, log into it in a second. Let's check the rest of this place first. Ooh, here we go. Lots of water. And some medkits. Cool. I'll take it. Alright, let's go check out that PC. M Mad Dog. There we go. X-Ray Technology. The Smart OS. Let's see if there's anything on here worth a damn. DVD, nope. Cycle bin, nope. Solitaire. Klondike Solitaire. Ooh. Fun. Affirmation. You are in control. You are on the right path. You are the dog. <laughs> Oh, it seems Mad Dog needed some self-confidence. Sure, I'll download this to my PDA. The Road. I've already seen that on another computer, I think. Uh... The funny thing is, is I can't tell if this is just, like, supposed to be an error message, and that's what the file is supposed to be, or if this is genuinely just an error. I don't know. I guess that's all that's on here, is affirmation. You are indeed the dog. Man, with this new weather, you can really tell when the sun is setting. Those, you know, the long shadows. It's very pretty.
Oops. Want to keep one of my waters? Dump the pistol. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay, well, take a look at this. I mean, look at all the weapons and all the supplies I just got. That is a lot of money. And I'm going to go sell all of it. Except one of the sniper rifles. Pretty sure that was a very successful run. Actually, undoubtedly, that was a very successful run. How much money it will give me, I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. I'm glad the uh, do you want to load level thing popped up about one millisecond before I completely slammed into that stop sign thing, whatever you call them. Not a stop sign, but the kind that you like put down in front of the road. Actually, I actually have no idea what they're called. <laughs> Dogs are back again. Oh no, I was stopped by a bush. Alright, here we go. Time to taxi this stuff back and forth, and I sense a lot of upgrades in my future. Probably gonna spend my money on that, so I'm gonna taxi this stuff back and forth, sell the vast majority of it, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've sold everything that I wanted to sell, and in the end, I gained about... about 55,000. I started out a little bit lower than 45,000, I think, and now I'm up to 100. So, made a bunch of money, and I think I'm gonna have to spend a lot of it repairing my stuff, too, because I just noticed... Like, if you look here, the burn protection is 63%, but it's supposed to be 80%. So, my suit is actually quite damaged, and it is a very expensive suit, so let's go ahead and repair stuff, and upgrade stuff, and... Let's see what we can do. Okay, my suit... Oh, almost 9,000. Okay, that's not too bad. And I think I'm going to stick with the suit for a very long time, if not the entire game. So let's just go ahead and upgrade it. Second generation. Ah, better night vision device. Hell yeah, let's go with that. Environmentalist polymer overalls with bism... Something. <laughs> It just cuts off. Oh, uh, bismuth inserts. Okay, um... How much does it cost? To be honest, like, my protection from burns and everything is already incredibly good. It's 80%. It seems kind of silly to even spend money on that. What about this? Uh, rupture plus 10%. Rupture protection. I don't honestly know exactly what rupture means, like how that happens and what its effects are, but let's go with that, because I really don't think I need more protection against elements. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Take a look at this thing. Let's repair it. Okay, better accuracy, or... Right, so... <laughs> So we're back to the same thing with this weapon, where it seems like if you buy this upgrade, it'll actually increase your recoil, which is obviously a bad thing. You want less recoil, not more. And somebody's actually... Th like, I've heard a couple things. Uh, one possible thing someone said is that perhaps the gun has such good stats that these upgrades are actually downgrades. You know, because I was, I was assuming that upgrades are relative to the power of the weapon already. You know, it's like a plus 15% and whatever. But maybe, like, something's wonky about it because this thing has such good stats that maybe the upgrade is just somehow actually making it worse instead of better? Another possibility is simply that it's been mismarked. It's just a visual thing, like maybe when they say plus 31% they just mean m minus. Like, I don't know. And I'm honestly not quite sure how to check. Ah, 
I would like to reduce the recoil, and I could do that by quite a bit, assuming these recoil pluses are actually minuses, but let's look down here. Maybe, wait, did I already get these? Oh, I think I got these already. Yeah, wait, have I gotten all of these? I'm having a hard time telling what I have and what I don't have. All of these are red, which would indicate to me that I don't have them, but it looks like I do. These are green, which means I do. I'm confused. But anyway, it seems the only one I can get is this. One of these two. So... Oh, red means you can't choose it because you chose something else? So you can only choose between one of these trees, I guess? Like, it's either this tree or this tree? I guess that's how it works. Okay. Okay, so a recoil. Hold on. Now, does that show as a stat? Would that be lumped under handling? Or accuracy? Okay, well, let's save the game and then let's get that upgrade. <laughs> the upgrade. That seems like it's a downgrade. And then let's see if I can... Notice a difference. So accuracy is about... Like... Four bars in, and this one's like five or six. Alright, so let's get the plus 31% recoil. I can't tell. I don't know if it moved. I don't know if it would move. I don't know if accuracy's, uh, accuracy's actually a uh, recoil is actually reflected here. I don't know. Which means I don't think I'm actually going to go with that. I guess I'm just never getting that upgrade. I mean, hell, the gun's good enough already. It's not like it needs it. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. I was pressing the wrong key. Whoops. Let's go with the other one. Let's go with the accuracy. Because that one definitely is an upgrade. Okay, my equipment is as fully upgraded as I can make it. Honestly, I wish the upgrade tree was actually a little bit more extensive. I'd like some more stuff to mess with. Let's just stock up on some supplies, get more energy drinks, of course. I need more AP rounds. I wish he sold a lot more AP rounds than that. Because I'm actually quite low. And I think I'm good on batteries. Let's grab another fuel thing, just... Just to have it. I'll dump it in the trunk. I think that's all I need. Yeah, I'm good on everything else. So, after all the upgrades and weapon repairs, I am in the green by about 25,000? Six, five, yeah, about, about 25,000 in the green. Absolutely worth it to make that gun run. That was very lucrative. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, did a little bit of questing and made a very lucrative loot run with my lovely Jeep. And the next thing to do is return the artifact to Sakharov, back at Lake Yantar. So I'll do that in the next episode, and I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.